Hello folks, your OSMVTAttributes.com. You're watching our full video review of the LED message board slash mini name tag. This is a very small and lightweight and easy to carry with you uh, programmable LED message board that you can put different characters, emoticons, alphabetical letters for company names, your personal name at different press events, maybe at Mobile World Congress or you know perhaps in CES, so you can show yourself off um, on the show floor and especially works well in darker environments. The thing about this though, it's kind of in, it's kind of expensive and um, in my opinion overpriced for the amount of technology it contains, which is just a basic amount of memory to store about eight different messages on board. Um, it has a limited amount of uh, character support, such as 20 for each message, and then you can cycle through those, adjust the speed and the such. But again, it's made out of plastic and it has a few LEDs on board, um, but this device is, is priced at around $30, which again is pretty expensive in my book, especially since your cell phone can have some apps that can do an LED effect, a name tag effect, if you know how to do that over the App Store. And so it, Again, this device is a little bit costly. Um, however, it's you know it's pretty small and pocketable. On the back of the unit, we have access to a bobby pin, which connects onto your shirt pocket. Also, there's a CR2032 cell-based battery for the um, turning device on and off as a wireless as a portable device. Um, without the battery in place, you can still use the product if you connect it via a mini USB port to your PC or a wall adapter. We have to say that battery life is pretty impressive on the unit, and on both ways, to power the device on fine, um, and they work equally as well. So if you want to save your battery life, you can remove it and just use the computer to turn it on. Unfortunately, a USB cable is not included in the package, but a mini USB cable can be purchased on eBay for just $1, so it's not that big of a deal in this sense. There's a power on and off switch on the right hand side. On the back, there are three controls that for the um, entering of different characters, for the adjusting of speed and the settings, they correspond to the enter, page up and page down. And this is the center one just takes you to settings key and the, the, they correspond to the up and down keys for the menu and navigation. They're made on metal, so they're pretty durable, but they are a little bit uh, small, even though they are risen above the surface. So they do get a little bit um, difficult to press sometimes when you're going through the front and trying to press the buttons on the on the back, but they take a little bit of acclimation and then you can get used to them. When powering the device on, you can see that uh, the device is pretty bright and easy to read even in different viewing angles, and the full effect can be appreciated better in real life and especially under lower light conditions. The speed of the messages can also be different uh, be adjusted. This is one of the slower speeds, um, and you can adjust those numerically, I believe. If by pressing here, you can switch between different messages, one through eight. I can switch between the different input methods, I can go to the speed. So if I want to do that, again, I can try three or four, for instance, or perhaps even five or six, and we can try that. And now you can see that it goes even slower at this particular pace, but we can speed it up or slow it down, um, again, using those numbers. And this is one of the other uh, messages. You can see it's been switched. This is peace, um, whereas the previous one was our own company logo at uh, OS reviews, and we can change the input again by pressing the corresponding number. So if you want to go to um, A, you can also search that up. You can also again input different characters like we're doing right now. Um, message, message 6 happens to be a blank one, and again you can go through different letters by going through um, by going through the different ones uh, correspondingly. So if we wanted to search um, through the letters, you can press again A, um, you can go to the different characters like the such, up, down, arrow keys, emoticons, all can be displayed, lowercase and uppercase. Now again, it takes a little bit long to just get through all the letters on here, which can get a little bit tedious, but say we want we want to use this letter, we can press the key there on the top for the um, enter, and then we can go up and down and select through the different letters again, pressing enter, and keep on going until we're satisfied and we want to display a particular message. It will save that even when the unit is off, even when the batteries are removed, so it saves those devices those names on the device until you remove them or delete them yourself manually. And again, this is one of the faster speeds and it works pretty well for the most part. Um, so again, the device definitely works as advertised. We kind of wish that because it has a mini USB, there would be a software built in for you to program the messages via a computer's keyboard, which will be a lot faster than typing out key per key on the unit, which takes a lot of time and is just overall kind of tedious to be honest. But um, Overall, it definitely works as advertised, and I would say that if you are into, you know, this kind of this kind of thing, um, it definitely works. It's pretty cool, and if you you know are looking for something that's intuitive, might might be unique, especially in a showroom environment. I would say that this device definitely works, and it works pretty well at that. So thanks for watching this video review of the LED message board slash LED name tag. It again works pretty well in lower light situations, um, but again at thirty dollars, it's definitely kind of expensive for the asking price. Thanks for watching here at OSMVTXReviews.com. This has been our video review of the LED message board.